Welcome to my kitchen. I am Walmart chef Suzanne Clark and today we're going to make something a little extra special. We are going to make a Hershey's s'mores fondue. Now this is the perfect recipe for any celebration and it's so quick and easy to do. I'm also going to share with you some good ideas for some little different little twists of things that you can put into this fondue to make it even more of a celebration. So let's go ahead and get started with that Hershey's s'more fondue, the actual base of our whole recipe. I have a saucepan here and I'm going to go ahead and add a cup and a half of great value whipping cream. Okay. Next, I'm going to add kind of the star of this, the Hershey's chocolate. Now, I'm just going to use chocolate bars. I just want to break them up just so they melt a little bit easier. I have a whole box or package of Hershey's bars. There's come six in a package, so it's nice and convenient for this recipe. Now that I have the chocolate in it, we need something to kind of make it thick and rich. So I'm going to use some jet puffed uh, s'more mallows here. And look at, they're the perfect size if you're going to make a traditional s'more, a cute little square size, and they're gonna work great for this recipe. I'm just going to put them all in the pot. I'm telling you, this is such an easy recipe. You're gonna wanna make it all the time. The kids are going to love it. Any of your guests are gonna love it as well. So now that I have those marshmallows in there, I just need to add some vanilla, and this is a teaspoon of vanilla. And then I'm gonna do something maybe that maybe you're not expecting, but I'm gonna add a little bit of salt. Now, the salt is not something you're really gonna taste, but this is a great tip when you wanna elevate flour, uh, the flavors in a chocolate sauce like this. Now, what we're going to do is put this on the stove at a very low temperature, and that is important. You need to, to keep it low because chocolate and the marshmallows, we don't wanna scorch them. We just want them to melt to make this nice, luxurious sauce. When we finish, we are going to have something that is creamy and lovely and decadent, just like this. Now, I have this in a fondue pot. You can also put it in a crock pot or maybe even just serve it warm into a nice little serving bowl. But today, we are going to use this crock pot. And at the end, I'm going to show you what it looks like when we all put it together. But now, like I promised, we need some more sides. We, we, can always use the uh, honey made graham crackers which are quite delicious just to dip in there and you get that whole s'mores idea but I like to offer some different options as well so we're going to start off by making some apple rings and I you know I love this my kids said this is actually their favorite thing to dip into the s'mores fondue so what I'm going to do is I had my apples soaking in lemon juice and water. Now the lemon juice is not for flavor, it's the citric acid in them that is going to keep these apples from turning brown. Now this is a great tip actually if you would like to put apples in your kid's lunchbox or something like that and you don't want them to turn brown, just soak them in that cup of water, maybe a cup and a half, and a couple tablespoons of lemon juice. Now, we want to create our little apple ring, and so we need to cut out that center core. Now, if you have a cookie cutter, great, but I know a lot of people don't have that. So just look around your house and you'll be surprised what you can find. I'm actually going to use, uh, this is a frosting tip. You could also use a top, just right off of a, a great value spice jar you can use that as the circle too but I'm sure you'll have something around the house to use so I'm just going to take this I'm going to kind of eyeball it and I'm going to cut out my circle so now I have my apple ring and as you saw earlier I was patting it off very important because we want our next ingredients to actually stick so I'm going to take some peanut butter I have some great value creamy but peanut butter here you could use the chunky as well. And I'm just going to spread this around. Now this is a recipe that does not require any cooking. Something wonderful for the kids to do. This would be great for a birthday party. Let the kids assemble this and then have fun with the fondue. Now, next what we're going to do, and I have another one made right here, is we're going to build our little apple ring and put all those s'more goodies inside. So I'm going to now use some mini marshmallows. These are the Jet Puffed Mini Marshmallows. I find that four works quite well. 
And then I'm going to take my Hershey bar, I'm going to just take little sections and kind of put this all around. Now, if you are gluten-free, you do not have to put this next step in. And that's one of the reasons I wanted to make this. I wanted to make this so everybody has something to dip into this more fondue. But if you are gluten-free, you can avoid this step. But I love this. I'm going to add the graham cracker right on here. I'm adding graham cracker crumbs. And I'm just going to place my little apple ring on the top, and I am good to go. So that is really fun. Now, I just used some crushed graham crackers. I'm going to give you a fun little tip for that. The honey-made graham crackers come in a really nice package. It's really nice and thick and heavy. One of the reasons I like them outside of it just being plain delicious. But if I want to make graham cracker crumbs for any recipe, all I have to do is keep them in the packaging and just crush them up. I'm not going to do it too much, so I don't want it to be too loud, but I'm just going to crush them up here with a rolling pin, and then all you have to do is just snip off that top, pour them into a bowl, and you have graham crackers. Such a quick and easy way to get those crumbs when needed in a recipe, I think. So I'm going to go ahead and let's go ahead and clear the deck here, and let's make our next special treat. I think you're going to like this one too. I know uh, kids especially love this one. But we are going to make some s'more pops. And they are also easy, something that the kids can make as well. We're going to start off with the Great Value White Melting Wafers. Follow the directions on how to melt them. Basically, you're going to put them in your microwave for 30 seconds and stir every 30 seconds and keep on going until they're melted. Everybody's microwave is a little different. So just follow that rule. Sometimes when you're working with these, they still stay together and hold their shape, yet they're melted. So make sure you give them a nice stir. That's a really good tip. So now what I did is I just took my jet puffed marshmallows and I put them on some sturdy straws. You can easily find these at your Walmart. You can also use lollipop sticks if you wish. You can use the wooden skewers too. I would just cut off the ends where it's pointed. But I really like using these because they're nice and uh, colorful. So now that I have those, I'm going to go ahead and make a little a crumb mixture to really bring in that s'more taste. Now here I've done something a little different that maybe you haven't thought of. I've grated my Hershey chocolate bar. Now all you have to do is take a Hershey's bar, put it in the freezer. That's a good way to make this an easy job. And then I'm just going to use a box grater and grate my great tasting Hershey's chocolate right here into this little dish right here. This is great for this recipe, but you know what? If you are making a chocolate cake or cupcakes or even a sundae, this is a great little topping to do. Now I'm just going to add some nuts and I'm going to add some of those crumbs that we did. I'm going to add some coconut. Now if you don't like any of these ingredients, you don't have to add them all, but I just think this is a nice mixture. Now I'm just going to take my marshmallow and I'm going to dip it in my melting chocolate. I'm going to dip it on all the sides and then just dip it right into this mixture. And then the next thing I want to do is to place it on wax paper or parchment paper. And I have a few of them I made earlier just so you can kind of see how cute they are. But we just want to do that, let them set up and you're going to have these really cute s'mores pop to dip into your Hershey s'more fondue. Now, I have one more idea for you. This is probably my personal favorite. I'm going to make some cheesecake stuffed strawberries, okay? Now, there's a couple ways you can do these strawberries. I can take my knife and I can just simply make a cut like so and open it up because we want room for our filling, okay? Another way to do this is to simply take our strawberry, cut off the top, cut out the middle part to kind of form a little cup. And then to make it stand up straight, I'm just going to cut off the bottom. So now that we have our strawberry ready, let's go ahead and make our cream cheese filling. And this is so easy. I have the Great Value cream cheese spread and it's really soft. I'm just going to add a half a cup of Great Value powdered sugar, a little bit of pure vanilla extract. I'm just going to put about a teaspoon in there. And then I'm going to mix it up until it's smooth and creamy.
Now here's my next great tip. Once I get it nice and smooth and creamy, I want to put it into a zipper bag. And once I do that, I'm just going to cut off the tip of that. And now look at, I can so nice and easy squirt this right into the center and make these beautiful little guys. Then what I want to do is to take some of my graham cracker crumbs that I made earlier, sprinkle them on top. And these are ready for dipping. So would you like to see what everything looks like once we put it together? Uh, it's absolutely be beautiful for sure. I'm just gonna move this over so I can bring out my fondue pot. Now, I have a beautiful fondue pot. If you do not have this, that's not a problem. You could always just set this up like a buffet style and serve your guests like this, but I have this, so I'm going for it today. I'm just going to put my s'more fondue on top like so. I'm gonna keep it warm so it's nice and dippable. Then I'm going to provide plates for my guest, and I can now take this beautiful, creamy s'mores fondue made with that Hershey's and those marshmallows. I can put it on my plate, and now I can take my little individual items that I made, I can dip them into this fondue. And this right here is a party on a plate, a wonderful way to celebrate any occasion. Thank you for spending some time with me today. I hope you celebrate with this wonderful Hershey's S'more fondue and all the wonderful different items that you can make to go along with it.